What's up, everybody? My name's Cap, and welcome back to Cruising with Cap. Oh, yellow light, time to go. Oh, shit, did we make it? Okay, good, we made it. Sorry, I'm starting off a little bit of running a red light almost. <laughs> All right, so anyway, uh, real quick, I just want to say, one, um, I don't, I'm not going to have a Minecraft video today. I just didn't have time to. Um, I just didn't, I'm going to be honest. I was playing other games and other stuff. So I'll have one up on Monday, probably, since I don't upload over the weekends, except for rare occasions. And uh, two, I'm still working on uh, working with Elgato to get the N64 to be compatible. I got some monitor issue thing. I don't know what the deal is, but it's uh, it's been goofy. How it is the best way I can word it. I don't know what the deal it is, but anyway, it's not wanting to transfer correctly. So for my retro series that I've been talking about for a long time, um, that's where that's at. Anyway, for this video, I'm going to try not to go extremely long. Anyway, I'm going to talk about next-gen consoles. Because, you know, on Wednesday or Tuesday or... I think it was Wednesday. Oh, hell, I don't know. Yeah, Wednesday. They had the big PS4 announcement. Or, for the most part. It's kind of a teaser, for the most part, I guess. They, uh... I say that a lot. I don't know why I say that. I'm just kind of rambling. Anyway, I was pretty excited about it. Even if I end up don't getting a PS4, I'm still a tech junkie, I guess. I, I mean, I watch the Apple release every year and all the stuff that they're adding with that, and I've never owned an iPhone. I just, you know, I like gadgets and technology and crap, so, what's up, dude? And, um, so anyway, yeah, I was watching the PS4, and I have to say, I was impressed by what I saw there. Um, there's a lot of people that are just butthurt as can be, man, I don't know what their deal is, and, uh, but there are so many people that are just beside themselves annoyed the fact they didn't show the console. I don't know why it matters. It's probably going to be black, it's probably going to be glossy, and in the form of a rectangle of some sort, probably with some curvature added to it. I mean, it's really not that big a deal. Um, honestly, I couldn't draw you a sketch of what my PS3 looks like, and it's been sitting on my entertainment center for three years or whatever, so... Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter, in my opinion. The uh, the controller, everybody was making a big deal about that. I kind of wish there had been a little bit more of a change to it to where it had triggers instead of just two shoulder buttons because it just doesn't seem to fit in your hand naturally. I don't, I don't know. I've never played with the PlayStation remote to the point where it was so comfortable versus like the 360 controller. I can rest my hands in my lap and it's just comfortable. Where the, oh you dick. What the hell is your problem? Sorry, he just cut over the shoulder and two other people just to cut me off. Thank you. Appreciate that. Anyway, I don't know. I, I was kind of hoping it's going to bring sort of a trigger, at least with two of the buttons on the back there, just sort of trigger style. Just it works better than having the two shoulder buttons side by side, um, in my opinion, of course. You know, that's just me personally. The whole touchscreen aspect of it there, I don't care. I mean, that was one of the things I was kind of like meh about when they was talking about the Wii U was that stupid tablet thing that you get to hold in your hands. I'm like, that's just no. I won't use that. You know, the big thing about all these consoles is they're prompting, they're promoting so much of this everything in one box sort of mentality where it's like, this is your one media hub for all things media and social and everything else. And me, I don't know, maybe I'm just old or whatever the problem is, but I don't care about any of that, not even a little bit. I don't connect to, I mean, I have Netflix on my Xbox, but I haven't used it in a long time because my TV has it. But Facebook and Twitter and all that avatar crap that's on there, I haven't, I've never used that. And I'm never going to. I don't use cloud computing because I don't go anywhere to have to play. I mean, that's that's a cool concept and I, I use it for business related stuff, but not for gaming. Um, sounds a little bit brat. Let's put that up there. Anyway, so cloud gaming, cloud saves is cool. Cloud gaming, I don't know, it just kind of depends on there. So all that extra fluff they're putting in there, is a waste on people like me. Now I know there's people out there that are just like, oh my god, I can't believe this is so cool. I got one box, I can do everything. If it's media related or browsing the internet, hitting up Facebook, Twitter, all that crap, I have a phone, a computer, two computers, laptops. I have more than enough access to the internet and I spend all day on the internet. I don't want to. I go home to play games where when I get on, I get on to play games. I want to play a game. That's what I want to do. You know, ever since they changed the Xbox to be this media hub sort of thing, it's just kind of annoyed me with every single update. I personally miss the Blade system from the original Xbox 360 launch. You know, that was just great. It wasn't inundated with ads. I got in. I could instantly get to what I needed to. And so seeing all the crap that they were putting on with the PlayStation 4, that share button and 
all this other stuff that they're trying to do with it and have people invite people in to watch a game and stuff like that. Now, the only time that might be kind of cool uh, is if you're just wanting to kind of show buddy, it's like, hey, I got to show you this real quick, you know, that sort of thing. But the idea of inviting people in to critique me as I'm playing right there, I don't know. It's different than live streaming, but anyway, I don't know. I'm not going to comment too much further on that one because I don't really know. We'll see how it goes, but... Um, when I was looking at some of the, the graphics and stuff there, because pretty much every company that came up that was talking about what they're bringing to the table, they were talking about a new engine. You know, we got the, the Pantaray engine from, I don't think that was Capcom. I don't know. Anyway, but when they showed that old man up on there and how detailed his facial expressions and stuff were, that I was just like, wow, that is pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. Can you imagine playing the next Elder Scrolls game on PlayStation 4 or whatever and every person in the game has got a different look to them and their facial expressions and personality. I mean, granted, if the next Elder Scrolls world is like the rest of them, they're all going to be just despair and discomfort and <laughs> everything else because nobody ever looks happy in those games at all. <laughs> but, um, anyway, I digress. Having, um, in my personal opinion, you know, having... You could put as many processors and as much memory and the fastest hard drive and bus system and USB system, all that. You could put all that into a system you want to for the developers. But it's still going to come down to what the developers do with it there. Uh, my personal opinion has always been fun and functionality over graphics. I don't care if a game is at 1080p on 120 frames per second with photorealistic graphics if it plays like balls. I don't give a crap, honestly. Um, I would rather a game play beautifully and have cartoon graphics. I mean, you look at some games the way they function. I don't even have any off the top of my head right now, but, um, you know, everybody, uh, there's some people that are looking at this, oh, some shaky road here. Sorry about that. Hope you don't get all sick on me. Um, but everybody's looking at this. So many people are looking at the console as to what can it possibly do for first-person shooters for the most part. Because they were just like, well, you know, I want my Call of Duty to run at 60 frames per second. I'm like, well, that's great and wonderful if it's going to function correctly. But, I'm like, as we've seen, you know, the last two Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3 run at, what, 30 frames per second? I, I don't even know because I don't care. But then you look at how well they actually play when it comes to online and all the problems they have and it's like okay well your graphics are beautiful but your net code is ass so yeah, that's always been my opinion on everything so the hardware is there it just depends on if the developers actually spend the time to get it to where it's useful but think about this also there if they're switching to a new format of uh, blu-ray you know they got the i don't even know if it's quad or even 8x density dvds and stuff now they can fit like 50 gigabytes of data on one disc, and that's just insane. It'll be interesting to see if Microsoft takes the same route with Blu-ray because the amount of stuff they can fit on there. But I mean, just think about this: you got all that horsepower, you got all that, all, all that, all those specs and stuff there, and then you got this massive storage media like Blu-ray. And then you go back to thinking about games like the next Elder Scrolls or a future generation um, Grand Theft Auto or something, and just think about how big of a world they can make it. I mean, Skyrim. The world was giant. I mean, it was huge. It was beautifully landscaped. You could just walk around and just look at shit, and it was just fun to do. Now, imagine that on next-gen console, and I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Will I get a PS4? I don't know yet. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind having one, but then again, I've had a PlayStation 3 for three years, and I haven't turned it on in over a year. Um, you know, I'm not a fanboy one way or the other. I guess I could say I prefer Xbox over there. I'm running a little bit long. It's the longest one I've ever done. Anyway, I prefer Xbox over PlayStation just because I don't. Know, I like the way the dash is set up as far as like getting into a game. Uh, the party system. I fought for a long time with so many other people to try and get that there that I use it all the time. Never had a good experience trying to play multiplayer when it came to PS4. Uh, I just didn't try to get people in to where you could actually talk to them and all that other stuff. It was just annoying as hell and I hated it. Versus Xbox, I click one button. Hey, I'm talking to you that sort of thing and trying to get into a game and there was a one point with PlayStation 3 that if you weren't in the same game at all you couldn't even chat I don't even know if that's there in uh, I don't know if that's ever been fixed I mean so anyway yeah I don't know how we'll just have to see um, like I said the biggest selling point for any of that stuff for me is how well it plays games and what they could possibly do with it well a sharp turn 
I don't really care about all the social stuff. I know there's some people out there that do. And kudos to you. I'm sorry, this is the world's bumpiest road, I think. So, um, anyway. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and uh, bid you guys adieu because I'm running on like 10 minutes now. This is a long damn vlog here. But, anyway, you guys have a good one and I will talk to you later.